Right. This is amazing. Nat Wynn is live in Woodland where she's climbing aboard. I know I wanted to, but we're not technically allowed to. There's only one man who can do that, and I will talk with him in just a moment. But I want to show you the ship. It's pretty sweet. I will introduce to you now Black Pearl. 3.0. It started wow. out in 2003 as a cardboard version, and then he did it into a wood version. This is the second wood version, and it has become a true community project. The man behind the boat, Tony. Tony, tell us how this all came about. Great. Uh, came about. I was uh, about junior high age, and you know, no one trick or treat really in junior high anymore, and the neighborhood was kind of dead for trick or treating wise, and I wanted to do some, so I had a crazy idea. I'm like, whoa, Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a cool movie. Let's turn that into a Halloween set. And it becomes like, I was just talking about, it's become a real community like project because how did you actually get the money to piece together this one? This, this one, the second time around with the wood version, um, well, I'm in college, so I, didn't, I don't have the money. So the community came together for me and donated a lot of money. Lots of support That's and love from cool. the neighborhood and surrounding communities as well. Amazing. And then, so we were talking about obviously the ship itself is why you would come out here and check it out. But sometimes there's a show, right? You told me you've done a little bit of swashbuckling out in the streets. Yeah, I have. Yeah, in, pre in previous years, I have when we've had some neighbors who have uh, gotten into the spirit as well. So, but it's usually me just hanging out on the ship, giving out candy, um, doing a little cheesy lines here and there in my Jack Sparrow costume. And the kids love it. I bet they do. So, tell me a little bit about how. Difficult or easy it is to kind of pull this baby together. It's difficult. It takes about 20 hours on average to put together. Um, yeah, and it, it comes apart and packs down to about the size of a Mini Cooper, if you can believe it. Wow. So can you tell me a little bit about the different kind of aspects of this? You said it's a really different experience in the morning and at the night, so people should come check it out during both times. Yeah, it was a night. It's all lit up, and on Halloween, I got the sound effects going. I got the cannons going off. And I'm dressed up, obviously. But during the day, you see a, a bit more of the detail in it, a little more of the love I put into it this time around, since I had the uh, the time and the knowledge versus the first time around to make it happen. Final thing: What is your favorite part about this whole boat? I like the skeleton up in the crow's nest up there. That was a new addition this year, because every year I try to add some a little different or uh -huh. sw switch something up, and <laughs> that was this year's addition. And I like it. I, how did you get up there? A very tall ladder? No, oh, I. Uh, <laughs> I put I put it in I put the skeleton inside of it before I put the mast up. Oh, smart move, smart move. I got a ladder big enough. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in checking this out, he got a late start this year. Got put together <clears> just <throat> last weekend. You have the rest of the month to come check it out. You want to give out the address? Yeah, it's 101 Cypress Drive in Woodland, California. Boom! Cool. There you have it. Come board the ship, y'all. Like pretend board though, because you can't actually get on it right okay. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Nat. Lisa, this week.